back again. It's getting close. Christy's on holidays, long service. I've left my job. Love his port, gonna miss you. Um, so we don't, what we thought was we'd just give you a quick little rundown of what we're taking on these little posty bikes. So we'll start close up here with our tents. So see the summit foam expandable pillow. Six weeks, seven, eight weeks on the posty bike. You need a bit of comfort. Canvas ground sheet. A tent. Quite a good wilderness equipment, two person tent. Fairly bulky, fairly heavy compared to what is easy out there, but it's really robust. That should do the job. And because we're on post, he's not actually carrying it. You can afford to have a little bit more weight. Um, a fly. Just in the bag there. So the aim is to have the ground sheet underneath, fly over top, everything in between, including us, that is fairly mud free. It's raining, there's a bit of rain out there, hopefully there's not too much, and hopefully it doesn't get too bloody muddy. A 80 mil, that's Cedar Summit too, I think. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cedar, Cedar Summit, self inflating mattress, about that thick, it's beautiful. Cedar Summit fanboys. Is a sleeping bag. This is a Trek 3. Pretty warm. Christy loves it. I'd probably have rather have a 2, but I've got the 3, so that'll do. And this time we're taking bibby bags. So if we, if we rock in somewhere late for some reason, we can just pull out a sleeping bag, pull out a bibby bag, and just crash. Crash for the night. We don't have to set up tents and all the rest of it. So all of us is beautiful. It's clear sky, no rain. Jump in one of these. So that's our sleeping gear. Back here, as you can see on the um, previous videos, I had a little bit of a lock. Maxi boy, he's scared, he wants to go too. We've got a bit of FOMO happening. Um, yeah, I had a bit of a faux pas of the lock. So this time we've gone with. Ooh, Combo locks. Everything, <laughs> everything's a combo lock. Yeah, so um, that should sort of negate that issue. Yeah, the only thing we haven't got that's combo lock is a snake lock. We've both got a little key for that. That's for our jackets. We go to the pub, whatever, through the arms of the jackets, through the helmets, through on the bike, just locks everything up in one go. Uh, what else we got? Garmin 64S. It's a bit of a dinosaur now, but it's still usable, still pretty good. Got a little Garmin inReach. Try that this time, I've only just purchased that. Um, that should be a good bit of kit. The old SLR camera, digital SLR camera. And maybe, fairly solid, it might take this, not sure. I'd like to get some really nice astro photography if you can. So, go with that. Couple pairs of glasses, because I lose them. Hmm. all the time so that's sort of a bit of our tech we'll cover more tech up there but that's just the locks we're taking keep the bike safe keep our gear safe this sort of stuff paper maps taking paper maps stuff in there in case uh, everything else goes to shit little compass pretty easy north you hit the rail line south you hit the ocean can't it's not that hard all right for safety for uh, spares for the bike Got uh, two spare tubes, heavy duty tubes, tire changing equipment, we've got uh, the spanners, spokes, the posties tend to throw a few spokes sometimes, hopefully ours won't, but we've got spokes there, and some patching gear. So if we're unlucky enough to get more than one puncher each, we'll have to patch tires. Brake levers, just in case we um, come off and break the brake lever. Got two, probably only need one. Clutch plates. Just don't know how boggy it's going to be out there. If you burn a clutch trying to get through all that sand, you're sort of screwed. So even it's just it's just the um, fibre plates. You know, we can plate, we can change that easy enough. Chain lube, Honda oil, little flexy. Out, which is really cool. 
So that'll be for fuel and oil. It's really cool little fine. Tow rope, if I can't fix it, Christy can tow it or I can tow it. And as far as tools, we've just, um, you know, a lot of, some people don't take any tools, some people take a lot. I'm sort of in between, I think. Everything that I've used on um, servicing the bikes and, and repairing them, I've sort of thrown in just the basic spanners, sockets. The only specialist socket I'm taking is this one. That's for the clutch, under the clutch. Nice little nut. Um, couple spare parts, spark plugs, a little bit of chain, a chain breaker. So if you do throw a chain or something, we can, we can get it going. If we shouldn't, the chains are new and the posties aren't very powerful, so we shouldn't have any chain trouble. Hopefully. Um, so that. Back to sort of some basic sort of stuff. We've got our um, waterproof over jacket, nice and fluoro. If it's raining, visibility is probably bad, so you want to be seen. Plastic pants, raincoat. I'm, I was, when I was riding to work. Last winter I sewed these up to uh, protect my hands from the freezing cold, so we'll take them. Look a bit like a muppet, don't know. And first aid kit, which is Christy's got in here. Everything from space blankets to ice things to urethane. Just about everything from them. When you, when you think about it, we're out there. It could be snake bite, burn, could be spider bite, cut. Abrasions, just about anything. Crook guts. That's it there. Our little mounts for our gear. And little axe. Cutting wood. Christy's nice little stitching job there. Beautiful. So you got a, a decent axe and a decent knife. Little of things you do around camp. Just a little uh, pot. I've got I've got one of these little pots, a couple of gas bottles. Christy's got a jet boil, so between us, we should be able to cook dinner no problem at all. And just as a little a little kit, little survival kit I like to carry is um, got a little um, flint, little flint, and that's um. Cotton wool with some Vaseline rubbed through it. You just get a little bit of cotton wool, tease it out, portage, matches, spare uh, knife, and some batteries. So that's, that sort of takes care of camp. Helinox chair, very expensive, but really good quality. They're great. I broke my cheap one. Christy's still on a cheap one. She's less hard on, not as hard on gear. And the really important stuff is, um, Flexible wine bottle. That'll be a nice bottle of red in there. Thanks, Mike. That's great. Nice bottle of red. And this one might have some nice scotch in there. Maybe a nip or two at night time. Not too much. Let's that go there. And this one. Nice waterproof bag. Six pack goes in there with a half a bag of ice. And we go. We roll it up and we go to camp and we have a little, little um, picnic. So that's. Bike gear, tools, navigation, camp, sort of gear. Um, we go to the clothes. Oop. Basically, we've got a riding jacket, riding pants, dedicated riding pants, wet weather gear, fleece, and for knocking around camp, just a long sleeve shirt, t shirt, shorts, light pants, puff daddy jacket. So everything more or less does double duty, you know, it's sort of, it's freezing, freezing cold, pants go on, a fleece, this thing with a raincoat over the top, toasty warm. Towel, winter gloves, summer gloves, and new helmets. I think I've talked about these before. I've been riding with it now for what, two weeks and haven't had, a, haven't had one hot spot. So, so good. Really good. Sunglasses. I like to wear the sunglasses up the 
that's about it for fuel for fuel we've got uh, a five litre can each we'll talk about the bikes a bit later but five litre can each and um, what we're carrying on the bike tanks we've also got some um, flexible fuel bladders we haven't used these before but I think we've got about 460 kilometers without fuel on one of the stretches so um, we'll take fuel and we should we should have plenty of range there's nothing worse than range anxiety worrying about running out of fuel in the middle of nowhere so that should be good and the beauty of these is once you've used them you roll them up they don't take up any more space They're good Christie's more or less the same as us same as me we've got food tons of food so that's all the dinners. Christy's carrying all the breakfast, lunch mm. in there. So we shouldn't have shouldn't have to worry about food, raincoats. Oh yeah, little umbrella. Little in the army used to call them a little tack rolly. You know, if you just parked up for five minutes, ten minutes, we're just trying to trying to brew a bloody kettle. Pop out your little umbrella, huddle underneath it. It's great. It's awesome. Pack it up, away you go again. You're not getting out tents or flies and all that sort of stuff. Really handy. For the heat too, stop the sun. I don't think we'll have that issue. That's just, yeah. All the same. Christy's little biggie bag, tiny little thing, nice. That's about all the same. This mm -hmm. is Christy's clothes in here. She's got some good boots as I, as I have. Knocking around town's one thing, but um, eight weeks on the gravel you want some good boots and that's about it mm -hmm. thanks for coming well posty fans it's been a stressful afternoon we uh have struggled for about three hours to try and fit everything on these little posty bikes my god so we, we i think we're finally there i've got a few more clothes to go and get a bag of clothes so that'll just That'll just be a little bit higher. But um, yeah, we got some gear. We did this trip, did about a thousand Ks a little while ago, a couple of years ago, and, and it didn't seem to have as much gear. So I suppose less food, food, got all food down here. That's a big sleeping bag. Obviously you've got pet petrol there, water here. This is a lot of tools, all the tools and tire changing gear down here and up top tents it's a tent yeah in here underneath this thing here is um, another bit of tent four liters of oil my axe my knife and all the little paraphernalia bits and pieces that you sort of need if you somewhere put it um, on the front this little bag here try and keep this front light because once you get a bit of a swing up it sort of gets a bit crazy that's just me wet weather gear, your gloves and stuff like that in the front. Little locks and stuff like that in there. And we've got we've got water here. Big bottle of water there, easier to get at when you stop. Probably have oil or something on the other side. And we've got our we'll have our GPSs and stuff hanging off here. And that's just me tech. Just me buddy phone and cameras and bits and pieces and leads and wallets and all that sort of garbage that you can't leave on the bike if you go go for a, a coffee somewhere you want to get that off the bike straight away but um we've got our got our big lock that'll go here that's here so when we when we stop for a coffee or, or a little walk somewhere we'll lock both bikes together it's um just makes it harder for them to just to wheel them away. Yeah, break the steering lock and wheel them. So we'll lock them together, just, make, just makes it a little bit harder. This is a cool thing, we'll get one of these for Christy tomorrow. You can just shove your jumper or shove whatever underneath there and away we go, solar panel. So that's about it. We'll have, uh, we'll see Christy's. Christy's is much the same. The only real difference with Christy's is she likes to have a little basket here. 
and um, a dirty great big yoga mat. That's good for the good for the back. I've got one too, but I can't. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I don't know. But um, that's your clothes there, isn't it, Chrissy? Yeah. Clothes. What's in there? Uh, a bit of cooking gear, um, tech, my tech will go in there, um, first aid kit, um, red wine, red wine, meat. important stuff, um, cool. yeah, wet weather gear behind me, little pillow, um, wet weather gear in the basket, um, yeah, much the same much in the, the panniers. Same. Oh, I'll show them a little table. Oh, uh, yep. Got a little table here. Oh, it doesn't quite fit on mine. I think mine's a bit... Oh. Fits on yours. <laughs> Show you a little table. There we go. We can brew up, chop up, do whatever. Yep. Prep table. Prep table. Alright, thanks very much. No doubt. A few more videos, you'll see all this stuff in action. <laughs> Cheers.